Elon Musk isn't building just another robot. He's building an entire army of them. And his goal is insane, to build one million of these robots every single year. This plan is so crazy you won't believe it's real. You've seen the videos. First, it was just a guy in a suit, then a robot that could barely walk. And now, we're seeing the Optimus robot walking with a spooky, human-like gait. The progress is so fast, it's almost unbelievable. But why is he doing this? The guy who builds rockets to go to Mars and electric cars to save the Earth is now obsessed with creating legions of robots. The answer is going to blow your mind. This isn't just a cool new gadget. He is trying to completely change the entire world economy in the next 20 years. Elon himself said this could be bigger than all of Tesla. He's not just announcing a new product. He's telling us he's about to flip a switch on how our entire civilization works. To understand why Elon is all in on this, you need to know about a huge problem that's happening right now. It's a silent crisis that could literally stop the world's economy. And it all comes down to one thing. We're running out of people. For literally all of history, if you wanted something done, a person had to do it. But what happens when we run out of people? All across the world, birth rates are crashing and populations are getting older. That means a smaller and smaller workforce has to support a growing number of retirees. This isn't a theory. We're already seeing labor shortages in factories, on farms and in hospitals right now. And let's be real, millions of jobs suck. They're boring, they're repetitive, and they're physically brutal. They're the jobs nobody wants to do. Even worse, a lot of them are dangerous, causing injuries and burnout. Elon has always said Optimus is made for the boring, repetitious and dangerous jobs. Our current system is slow, unsafe and just can't last. It's a massive bottleneck on what we can achieve as a species. You can have the best ideas in the world, but if you don't have the hands to build them, they're just ideas. And that's where Optimus comes in. Not as a luxury item, but as a total necessity for the future. So how is Tesla going to pull this off when others haven't? I mean, we've all seen those insane backflipping robots from companies like Boston Dynamics for years. Elon says Tesla has an unfair advantage a pile of tech that no one else has. It all comes down to three crazy things. The brain, the body, and incredible scale. First, the brain. For over 10 years, Tesla has been trying to solve one of the hardest problems in AI, real-world self-driving. That full self-driving AI is the robot's brain. They're literally just transplanting it into a new body. Optimus is learning to do jobs by watching videos of humans, just like the cars learn from watching billions of miles of driving. Second, the body. While other robotics companies buy parts from everywhere, Tesla is a beast at building everything themselves. It already designs and manufactures its own motors, batteries, and electronics for its cars. That's the exact same stuff you need to build a powerful robot. Tesla isn't starting from scratch. It's plugging into a multi-billion dollar supply chain it already owns. But this is the absolute kicker. The thing that separates Tesla's goal from everyone else is scale. Other companies build a few amazing prototypes. Tesla's goal is to build the machine that builds the machine. Elon isn't talking about a few thousand robots. He's talking about making millions of them a year. And get this. He wants to sell each one for around $20,000 to $30,000. That would completely demolish the market, where similar robots can cost over $150,000. So how do you actually roll out a million robot army? You can't just hit a switch. And believe me, they've already run into some massive problems. Phase one is happening right now, using Optimus inside Tesla's own factories. The plan is to have them do simple, repetitive stuff. Moving parts around, sorting things. But the reality has been a disaster. As of mid-2025, dot, dot, dot. 
Reports say only a few robots are doing simple jobs, and they're less than half as fast as a human. The project has hit huge roadblocks, like pausing production in June 2025, the head of the whole project quitting, and a massive redesign because the motors were overheating and the batteries didn't last. Their original goal of making 5,000 robots in 2025 is now considered unachievable. Phase two is the B2B dream. After Optimus is proven, the plan is to sell or lease them to other companies. Imagine warehouses and factories run by a workforce that never gets tired. There's some talk about a robots as a service plan, where companies could just rent the bots, but nothing is official. Elon hoped to start selling them in 2026, but with all the current delays, that timeline feels impossible. And phase three is where it gets wild. A robot in every single home. This is the jump from a factory worker to a personal butler that could cook, clean, do your laundry, and even help take care of the elderly. This is the vision that makes Elon think Optimus could be worth trillions. But let's be real, the robots we've seen today can't do any of that yet. This leads us to the wildest part of the entire plan. What happens if this actually works? What happens to society when the cost of physical work drops to basically zero? The first thing that would happen is a productivity boom bigger than anything in human history. With a limitless labor force, the cost of making everything would plummet. This is what Elon means when he talks about a future of abundance, where we're no longer fighting over a limited pie, because we can just make the pie infinitely bigger. Of course, this brings up the biggest question of all. What about our jobs? A world powered by robots would get rid of millions of traditional jobs. But the vision isn't mass unemployment, it's mass freedom. It could lead to things like universal basic income or what Elon calls universal high income. The idea is that the insane wealth generated by the robots could be given to everyone, freeing people from having to work just to survive. Work would become a choice. And yes, I know what you're thinking, Terminator. Even Elon himself has warned about the dangers of runaway AI. But he claims the goal for Optimus is to create a tool that serves humanity, not one that replaces it. Elon Musk's vision for Optimus is one of the most insane bets in the history of technology. The vision is huge, the production goals are aggressive, and the real-world problems are already piling up. So I want you to tell me what you think is the biggest hurdle. Is it the AI, the mechanics, the manufacturing delays, or just convincing the world to go along with it? Let me know in the comments below. Let's be crystal clear. Elon Musk's plan isn't about making a fancier Roomba. It's about trying to completely break the connection between human work and economic growth. The progress we have seen is real, but the setbacks are also very real. Those first few robots in the factory are just the beginning of a very, very rocky test. The true goal is to trigger a change as massive as the agricultural or industrial revolutions. We are watching a high stakes experiment in real time to see if physical labor itself can be automated and scaled to infinity. The question is no longer if a future with robotic labor will happen, but how fast we will all have to adapt when our purpose is no longer defined by the work we must do, but by the things we choose to do.